Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome to another Smite God Spotlight. I know this has been the third spotlight in a row daily, and the fourth spotlight in the last five days, but there is actually a reason why for the I've been uploading so many of these lately. It's because they actually introduced a new god before I thought the next god would be available, so... Um, we're going to be covering that god today, and I wanted to get through my other recordings before I actually moved on to that god, which meant I had to upload uh, two of the videos uh, right after the, one another, so that's why I've uploaded so many of these recently. But let's go ahead and get started here. As usual, we're going to go to Conquest Map Roam, and we're going to be selecting the new god, Rama, the seventh avatar of Vishnu. He is a hunter, pros, high mobility, and high attack speed, and apparently his difficulty is actually hard. We'll actually see if that's the case. Let's go ahead and lock him in. Wow, that was interesting. I've never seen the enemies be, or the allies be selected in that fashion, but I'll take it, I guess. So yeah, I've seen a little bit of Rama in action from the uh, Smite God reveal video, but aside from that, I have not played as him, so this is a very new experience for me, and I'm actually looking forward to it. I always look forward to these uh, first look spotlights where I take a god behind the driver's seats for the first time. It's always really fun to kind of see what the god can do. Uh, let's very quickly get some items. He is a hunter, so I'll go with the death's toll first, and as usual, we'll go for Aegis and Meditation is our secondary active items. Monopots, just in case. Uh, let's look at his abilities. His passive Astral Quiver. Rama's Astral Quiver generates an actual Astral Area... Ah! Rama's Astral Quiver generates an Astral Arrow every 15 seconds. Also, every basic attack that Rama lands will reduce the amount of time to generate an arrow by two. Astral arrows are used with his other abilities. First he has Astral Strike. Rama switches to a more powerful arrow that pierces and slows enemies. This ability consumes one of Rama's astral arrows with every shot. Rama cannot toggle this ability if he has no astral arrows. Then there's Pick Me Up. Uh, with his passive, any time an enemy is hit by an astral arrow, there is a percent chance that an astral arrow pickup will appear on the ground. Only Prox produces uh, on the first enemy hit by astral strike. The pickup adds one arrow to Rama's astral arrow. An active Rama gains increased attack speed. We have rolling assault. Rama performs a roll in the direction he is currently traveling. After performing a dodge roll for 5 seconds, Rama's next in-hand attack will be consume an astral arrow that cripples the target and deals bonus damage. Rama incurs no movement penalty during this shot. Then he has astral barrage, but we'll take a look at that later. Patience. I'm actually curious to see how this will work. Let's go ahead and use our astral arrow. Okay, I see how it is. And yeah, we can't use any more of our Astral Arrows once we uh, use them all. It's kind of lame, but that's how it works. I'm guessing the Astral Arrows are actually kind of powerful. That's the only reason why they would uh, actually need them to perform this attack. So in other words, you probably don't want to use the attack until you have full astral arrows like this. Ah, dang it. I almost KO'd both of them. So far though, he looks pretty cool. 
I kind of like using them so far. We also have his uh, dodge roll attack, which I'll show off a little bit later. Uh, the thing I like about his dodge attack, from what I saw in the reveal video, is you can actually dodge roll forward and backwards in any direction, basically. Which I think is actually good, because there's a lot of times where you want to watch your back while you're traveling, so... Having an attack where you can actually dodge roll backwards is kind of handy, actually. So I'm going to clear out this lane. I'm not going to use my ability yet. I'm actually going to let them push this lane a little bit. And by them, I mean the enemies, because I want to actually use my Astral Strike again. I'll go ahead and let them... I guess I could actually attack the tower. And it looks like everyone else is in the mid lane, so maybe we can push this tower a little bit. Yeah, we can push. Let's push. While they're gone, I mean, that's the only reason why I would push here. And there's the dodge roll. So you essentially want to use the pickup attack right before you use the uh, one. Because you get a higher percentage of picking up that astral arrow. And then you get more shots with the one too, which is also kind of neat. Okay, let's uh, roll behind here. Okay, Ymir's back. I kind of want... Uh, is it on her? Yep, on her to be back as well, though. Oh, God. Get away from me. Alright, perfect. I can also take a look at his ultimate now, but I'll do that after we uh, clean this up here. So we can probably... Okay, no, I don't think we can. We almost could take this tower down. Ah. So back, don't die, we need you, kind of. Oh god, he pushed all of the enemies away. Okay, once again, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use pick up again. Oh god. I do like that. I do like the ability to uh, kind of dash away. I think that's very, very handy. I'm going to go ahead and let Sobek go in there, because I do really want to show off his ultimate, because his ultimate's really cool, it's something that you'd kind of expect from this game, given all the other ultimates you can see, but, uh, I don't know, I, th I think it's really cool with the way they handle it. Basically... Yep, you take the skies and you fire arrows. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this tower right at it down. Slow down. 
Okay, there's the astral arrow pickup. And there's a knocked over tower. Let's go back. Because I want to get some shoes or some boots. That sounds like a good idea. Let's also uh, wait for this to go down. Seems like we're having a little bit of trouble on the right lane, so I'll probably head over there since we have a tower pushed on our side. And the middle lane's also doing pretty well, as well so we can afford to kind of clean up over here. I do really like his gameplay, though. Very, very versatile, especially with that dodge roll. I am a big fan of the dodge roll already. That's going to make escaping so much easier because you can also do it from the like left and right and also backwards. Let's go ahead and get one of you. My god, those do a lot of damage too. Not that I'm surprised though. It just has a lot of frickin' range. Which I'm not complaining, that, that kind of range is awesome, but... I can see that maybe being nerfed or something. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be nerfed. Hey, Kali, don't kill yourself. We have a good push going on. We don't need you destroying yourself for it. Ah, dang it. There we go. There we go, we got that tower. Doing pretty damn good for ourselves so far. Wait, Kali. Oh wait, she's on our side. For me, I was like, wait a minute, Kali's over here, that's not good. Oh wait. Kali's on our side, never mind. Yep, well, I'm not going to make sure he escapes. Oh, but you do have a time limit for that, which is kind of annoying. But it's understandable. You don't want to give yourself too much leeway with uh, aiming. That would be pretty broken. Yeah, let's use our speed buff here. My god, he is being very, very relentless. Let's go ahead and escape. Let's see if we can maybe uh, gank Guan Yu right here. Got him. No chance in hell, Guan. Not gonna let you do that, Star Fox. Yeah, right lane's having trouble again, but... Actually, I better go back there. Yep, especially now. Damn it. I'll take it. OK, 
Yeah, let's push this lane again. I know middle lane is going to be kind of swarmed right now, but I have my own concerns. I think I can probably get Devourer's Gloves now, or even Jotun's Wrath, so... After I push this lane a little, I might go back. Okay, we'll use Pickup. Use that. And yep, we can take this tower, surely. This tower's not gonna have a chance. Although, it is uh, going to fire back at me if I don't get out of here. Come here, minions. We can do this. Especially while the mana distracts the other minions. Oh god, it's raw. Dang it, raw. Oh, come on. That tower can barely even breathe. Oh, shoot. Shoot! I'm dead. I forgot I didn't have the pendant yet, so I kind of died there. Uh, let's see. I can get... Yeah, let's get Devourer's Gauntlet. Then I'll work on the critical hit items after I finish up these. Oh, that's right, I didn't even have the healing meditation yet, so... I actually thought I already had that, so I didn't. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go help out my lane first. Uh, I think uh, Kali can probably handle Hoonbots. Although, maybe not. Hoonbots is one level higher. Oh, and yeah, Guan Yu's there too, so Kali's probably gonna die. She is chasing him away, though, which I give props for. Plus, it seems like Sobek's been having trouble by himself. He has not been able to pick up a kill yet. Which sucks to be him for that. Okay, Ymir and Sobek are here. Let's go ahead and... Ouch. Oh, dang it. It's not fair, I couldn't even see him. Worth it. An ally has been slain. Will this be worth it, though? I don't know. No, get out. Get, get out of the way. Ouch. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh god, I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. Okay, middle light enemy tower is down. On her is finally away from me, thank god. I need to go do some farming so I can get my health back. Looks like middle lane is gonna be the farming lane. Just need to be careful, because there are, will probably be some gods here in a little bit. Yep, one use back. Ooh! 
That would have been awesome if I could have killed him right there. Okay, there goes the tower. May need to take a trip to the middle lane after this. Yep, let's go to middle. Because they are pushing that tower hard. It's been a weird game, though. They've been keeping up with kills, but they haven't exactly pushed much of us. Which I kind of find a little strange. Well, I'm not going to complain about it. Okay, I don't think the astral arrows go through enemies. It looks like they do. Maybe they just kind of create a little blast. That's got to be it. That might be what they do. Okay, got him. Going back over here. I may be able to get Rage after this. Maybe even Deathbringer if I'm lucky. Let's see. Oh god, they're both here. I am not going to let them take this tower though. No way in hell. go, got him. Taking a lot of damage, but also getting a lot of damage back here. <laughs> that lifesteal. Got some good lifesteal going on. Hey, what? He's fighting... He's fighting the buff camps. You can't do that. Okay, well, he's gone. Uh, yeah, I'll try to get Deathbringer then. I'll push up this lane again, and then I'll go back after we get the tower. I think we can probably push the tower over now. Well, we do have on her back again, but that's fine. I can handle on her. he would still be there. Because the enemy bots, they have a bad habit of trying to beam back at a certain point. So then I could maybe use that to my advantage. It was a good strategy, honestly. Ah, oh, God, on her again. He actually stayed back there enough to get more health. Hmm. 
And there's Jamir again. Uh, Sobek, I could use some help. Because I'm just fighting these guys by myself. <laughs> Using a god I've never really used before. Thankfully, he's not doing a lot of damage to me. Bots. Okay, he's kind of drunk for just standing there like that. So, Beck, could you finish pushing the tower, please? Or help me, at least? Oh my god. This is a weird game. I'm really not sure what to think about this game right now. Patience. You know what? Whatever. I'm gonna kill this. There we go. Now I'm gonna go back and get my frickin' Deathbringer. It's about time, too. Yep, Deathbringer. I'll go ahead and start Rage as well. Now I'm gonna scare away freaking middle lane here because we have like three guys coming. Ouch. Thank you, Habwa. Thank you. Oh! I might still be able to do this. Got him! Take that. All we have left is a Ymir, and I don't know what I'm going to use back now, but... Oh my god, I could actually get all the kills. Although I think, uh, Hebo got one of the kills. I'll take it. So now I just have to push over the damn phoenixes. Which we'll be able to do very, very easily now that we have Deathbringer. Oh god, the Rye Phoenix is already down. I didn't even notice that. We have weakened their defenses. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy phoenix. I'm gonna push down all the phoenixes by myself at this rate. took out him. Yeah, we could like quite literally finish this now, which I think I am going to aim for.
people will start zooming back like on her right here but that's fine I have Deathbringer so yeah yeah we got this this is over And there we go. That was the Rama Spotlight. I really like him so far. I think he's really cool. Very unique. He has uh, very versatile uh, ability sets. Really cool. As usual, he's probably going to be played a lot during this first week before he gets buffed, or not buffed, but nerfed a little bit. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's Rama. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys for next God Spotlight, whenever that's going to be. I know I haven't done actually any gameplay videos for a while. I got kind of tired of uh, doing just solo queue stuff. So um, I'm trying to work in maybe doing some matches with other people. So there's at least someone around me that I can actually communicate with. Because when I was kind of doing the solo queue thing, I... I noticed that in those videos, I was a lot more angrier than I really wanted to be. And it really is a lot harder playing when you're doing just solo queue, because it's harder to communicate with your teammates. And uh, I feel like the, in, in general, just the chances are easier to get a lot of uh, really nasty people along with you who are very discouraging. So I just really wasn't enjoying those videos, which is why I've been sticking to kind of doing spotlights for a while. But uh, when I start getting some people to play with and record with, I'll start doing some videos, and uh, yeah, we'll have fun with that. So um, I will see you guys next time for the next Spotlight. Next Spotlight will be Motorcycle. No, it'll be, uh, it'll be Bacchus. So uh, see you guys for that. That'll probably go up on Friday, so I'll see you guys then. Later, folks.